Hello all, my name is Krishnaik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, I'm going to start a new playlist on Amazon SageMaker where we can actually create, train, deploy our machine learning models into AWS cloud. And then we can also create the endpoints of those specific models. Not only machine learning models, guys, we can also do with respect to deep learning models. And this was requested by many of you people. Apart from that, some of my friends, some of my experienced friends who are experienced in data science, when they were giving interviews in some of the companies, they told that uh, now the companies are also asking uh, Amazon SageMaker questions like how do you deploy a model in AWS SageMaker and all, right? And probably the reason is that guys, now most of the companies are using three main important cloud platforms that is AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. These are the most used cloud platforms worldwide in various organization. Yesterday, I was also seeing the net, uh, Netflix, uh, you know, the data, data architect uh, of them, and there also they were extensively using AWS services like S3 bucket and all, and many more things. So it is important now to understand how important this knowledge of the cloud platform is required. I'll definitely start with AWS in the future lectures. I'll come with Azure and Google Cloud Platform also. But here we will be specifically talking about Amazon SageMaker. Apart from this, we'll also try to cover some of the important services in AWS like uh, S3 bucket. We'll, we'll try to understand what is EC2 instance, you know, and many more things with respect to a AWS, Amazon SageMaker. Over here, there is something called as Amazon SageMaker Studio. We'll also try to understand how we can actually do our build, train, and deployment of the models. And probably this playlist will be having uh, around 10 to 15 videos. First, I'll go ahead with ML uh, machine learning projects, then deep learning projects, then we'll also go ahead with NLP projects. So now people may be also concerned because uh, I had started the deep learning playlist, which is about uh, I have to complete the object detection. That will also be going parallelly, guys. Uh, object detection and all, we'll be taking the live classes, right? But this all videos where we are using this cloud platform, it will be recorded videos. So both will be happening parallelly. So don't worry about it. All the videos will be recorded and now I'm going to speed up the process of uploading the video also. Now, apart from that, guys, uh, you can see over here what is Amazon SageMaker. It is a cloud machine learning platform that was launched in November 2017. I've used it. It is very, very good because Amazon SageMaker also has some types of algorithms. They have some algorithms which is already uh, trained uh, in their platform, you know, and they, you can actually reuse it and it gives you some amazing results. You can also train your uh, model, machine learning models within this platform. You can also see that there is something called as labeling jobs. You can label your data. You, you can label the whole data sets and many more things. So, so lot of functionalities are there. So I will be discussing about that in the upcoming classes. But here, what all things I'm going to cover in this particular playlist that we are going to see. First of all, we'll just understand about AWS services, what all services is being provided by AWS and what is cloud computing. So this is pretty much important. The second topic that we will be understanding in AWS services, one important service is something called as AWS S3 bucket. So this is pretty much important. This is pretty much handy. If you don't know about S3 bucket, this is this is this is a storage uh, place. You can you can just think of a storage place where all the files will be uploaded, all the data sets, any kind of files can be uploaded over there, uh, which acts as a storage unit itself, right? You need not uh, take or buy any hardware instead. You can actually use those S3 bucket uh, and whatever I'm going to teach you over here, guys, you will definitely require a credit card, but I will make sure that none of the credit card will get charged. Only some amount may get charged later in the deep learning uh, when you're training your deep learning models in the GPU uh, that you're using from the basic GPU that you're using in this AWS platform. Now you may be considering Krish. Uh, even though if we have uh, GPUs, why do company actually take this kind of cloud services. Just understand one thing, guys. In a company, you know, there will be many projects that will be parallelly running, right? Some will be ML models, some will be DL model projects and many more things. And every time you can't just buy a GPU or hardware because a lot of cost is involved. So what uh, companies do is that they actually take the services from either AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud Platform and they pay as per use, you know? So as, as they're using, as how much they are using based on that they will actually pay and there are some cost involved but in this playlist whatever we will be discussing i'll make sure that just follow the steps what i will be doing probably you will not get charged okay so if if there if you make some mistakes definitely i i made some mistakes previously i was charged some amount of money 
in AWS. Okay, so don't make that mistakes. Whatever I tell you in this specific playlist, just follow that. Okay, so we'll try to understand AWS S3 bucket. In the third step, what I'm going to uh, make you understand over here is that about SageMaker, right? Amazon SageMaker. This is pretty much important. We'll try to understand Amazon SageMaker. That is AWS SageMaker. Um, <coughs> There are two things in this, uh, as I told you over here, we'll also understand about Amazon SageMaker Studio, right? So this is also this, there are two platforms. You can also create a notebook instance directly. See over here, there is something called as notebook instance, right? You can execute your code through this also. You can execute your code through this also, right? So both of them are there. If, if I go with respect to this, it'll be, it'll be showing us like this. But if I go with respect to the notebook instance, what you can do is that you can create the notebook in your normal Jupyter notebook in your local and later on you can upload there and you can do all the tasks, even similar in the SageMaker studio. But we'll try to understand in depth as we go ahead. Uh, after we understand this, uh, what we are going to do at least one ML project, we are going to do it completely from end to end. So when I say end to end, we will actually create a scalable model. Okay, end to end with deployment. So this will be with deployment. Okay, and probably this will be a scalable model. Okay, so make sure that this will be a scalable model. Um, the fifth thing that we'll try to do is that we'll try to understand about the DL project, we'll execute a DL project, it will be also end to end. And we'll try to create this as a scalable model, you don't you not have to worry about Docker, Kubernetes and all the APIs that is actually created by AWS with with the selection of some options, it will actually create a scalable model itself. Uh, after this, uh, definitely, we will also be doing an NLP project. So this will give you an idea about everything uh, with respect to this so that you don't have to worry about anything else. Now, once we do this, I'm um, probably again, guys, uh, when I'm saying one ML project, a DL project, maybe two, three also, okay? I'll be continuing this playlist whenever I find something interesting. Okay, now, the seventh thing that uh, we are going to do is that, why, why we are trying to learn this, I, I also want to mention this point, guys. Please make sure that you add this thing in your resume also. Since, as I told you that, many of the companies are now they're using extensively of this kind of services, right? Like AWS SageMaker. Even my previous company also used to use it, right? Uh, previous to previous, whatever company I was working, it was a product-based company. They also moved into AWS completely. They were initially working into Azure, then they completely moved into AWS. And there also, they were heavily using this. So uh, this is things we are going to cover. Uh, first, uh, probably this particular video in this video i really wanted to show you what all things we will actually try to cover and this will be also completely from end to end till the api creation and then you'll be able to see more more things now in my next video i'll try to show you how you can create an aws free tire account the free tire account is basically for 12 months so you can actually use some of the services let me show you what all services you can actually use Okay, so this is the AWS free trial account. What are the types of offers? You can explore more than 60 products and start building on AWS using the free tire. Uh, it is 12 months free. Okay, now what all things you can use in the free tire version? You can use AWS EC2 instance of 750 hours per month. Okay, but make sure that whatever instance we are selecting, right? It should be this instance, T2 micro, T3 micro. This I will tell you. Okay, how, where we have to create this instance and all, I will show you each and every steps. But we are just going through some of the services that are provided in the free tire details. As I told you, AWS S3 bucket, it is a secure, durable and scalable project storage uh, infrastructure. You can store any kind of files over there. Suppose if I'm creating any model, I can store in the S3 bucket and I can read it from the AWS SageMaker because model file usually is more than 500 MB, right? Uh, uh, one of the problem that you have faced in Heroku if we have some vision models, you know, it was going more than 50 MB, right? So at that time, we cannot actually store it into the Heroku platform. Otherwise, 50 or 500 MB, uh, because there is some storage limit, right? But here, you are getting 5 GB. So even though your model is around 2 GB, you can actually store that in the S3 bucket and you can read it from there, okay? Apart from this, uh, this is the Amazon DynamoDB. This DynamoDB is also a NoSQL database. Uh, again, I think this is a product of AWS itself. Uh, the functionalities, uh, if you know about MongoDB, probably you'll also be able to work with DynamoDB. But again, I'm not going to cover that. Probably in some other playlist, I'll try to cover this. Lambda function also, I'll try to say some of the bit information about Lambda function. One million free requests you can actually put into the Lambda function, okay? And this is, 
I've worked on a lot in the Lambda functions uh, in my in my in my I'm from past two years, I guess I'm working more in the Lambda functions. But the main thing will be Amazon SageMaker. So we'll try to perform all the operation into this. Apart from that, there are also some more information that you can see over here. But just make sure that the main reason why I'm doing this is to basically showcase you that this thing can be very, very handy in your resume. Now let us go towards the next step and we'll try to create an AWS free trial account. Okay. So create AWS free tire account. I, everyone, I want you all to do this because this is pretty much important. Okay. And this will be for 12 months. So first of all, go to Google and just search for AWS free tire. Okay. When you do this, you'll be able to see this first option. Go and just create your account. Once you create your account, just give your email like this, anything like this. I'm just going to create my account over here. Okay. Some password. I'm just going to give some password. Okay. And some account name. Testing one, two, you can give anything. Okay. It is up to you. So I've given all these things as soon as I click on continue, see this, I'll just click on continue. Then just go and click on per personal thing and just fill up all the details that is required over here. Once you fill up all the details, when you go and click on create account and continue, then the next step is that they'll ask you a credit card number. Remember the credit card will not get charged, you know, unless and until you use something other than this micro instance, I told you in the free version, right in the free version i told you you have to use this instance that is t2 micro t3 micro unless or until you are using this there will not there will not be any charges so don't worry about it just go and uh, go ahead with this and probably just create the account over here and provide your credit card number credit card number is important guys even in aws even in google cloud in google cloud also you get 300 dollars for one years right so there also they'll ask you credit card so make sure that you provide the credit card number and after that just create the account and then probably in the next lesson, I will try to show you, I'll try to explore about the S3 bucket, uh, what you can do with respect to S3 bucket, how you can store the data, how you can do many things, how you can call that S3 bucket through your Python code and everything in, with respect to that, we'll try to discuss. So we will cover S3, S3 is definitely required. We'll, we'll also try to cover Lambda function in the later stages. After completing S3, we will go into Amazon SageMaker and then we'll try to create some ML projects, okay? So yes, this was all about this particular video. Please do subscribe the channel, uh, share with all your friends because I am starting this AWS SageMaker playlist. It will be for somewhere around uh, 10 to 15 videos and every day I'll be uploading at least one to two videos, okay? So here, uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, please do subscribe the channel, guys. Thank you one and all. Bye-bye.